Story next about an apartment that sounds like it's right out of the twilight zone. Galit Solomon with an Oshawa couple who are not very happy that there's no place like home. When we moved in here, within three, three weeks, I broke out with terrible sores on my bottom of my ankles. Um, and they wouldn't clear up. The main field is on this side of the bed. Shortly after moving into their Oshawa apartment in 2004, Catherine and Russ Loader started experiencing strange physical symptoms. Their feet swelled up, not just mine, my wife's feet swelled up to the point where you couldn't put your shoes on anymore. And then our toenails started to die and, and fall off. In 2009, the couple hired an expert to inspect their apartment. He found high levels of magnetic field radiation. This here is a Gauss meter. It is used to measure electromagnetic fields. Now, in the average household, it should only give you a reading of between zero to two milligauss. But take a look at what happens when we come to the center of the room. You can hear it already. Now, this is where Russ used to sleep. And as I lower the device, the needle goes off the scale. That's a reading of 100 milligauss. Now, if I just walk away from it, the levels should go down. I'm Professor sorry. Magda Havis from Trent University yeah. conducted her own test last year at the Loader's home. It's going higher to 25. We found that the fields were coming from under the floorboard and when we turned the power off to the apartment unit, the fields were still there. And they're still there today. Take a look at what Russ can do with a small light bulb when the power to the unit is off. I can touch, touch it to the floor and and it'll light up. The loaders are not alone. I have some high readings in uh, my kitchen, um, my bathroom, and um, in uh, parts of my bedroom. The couple's case will be heard before an appeals court in Newmarket January 31st. They are convinced their medical problems stem from the electrical issues in their apartment. The building's management company did not wish to comment, saying the case is now before the courts. But in a letter to the loaders, they said the board takes the position that electromagnetic fields do not cause any medical effects and no further action will be taken by the board. It's affected um, my ability to earn a decent living. Uh, it's uh, causing me to become depressed because I feel ill and it's a whole host of emotions. Catherine and Russ Loader say they've had enough. By month's end, they hope to find a new place and be out of the building. In Oshawa, Galit Solomon, City News.